The day, the star of the show isn't the engine sound, but rather... Let's hope I align this right. Give it a few seconds. Man, that's far. Almost there. Pull that in. And we should hear. Guys, hear it? Yes. We actually have refrigerated trailer sounds now. All thanks to drive safely. Let's go and check it out. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ATS. Huge thanks to Drive Safely for allowing me to release this and uh, preview this a few days before he releases it to everybody. So there will be a new sound fixes pack that I think will have this feature. I think it's coming out this week in a matter of days. But yes, he wanted to test it out first and uh, he gave it to me for a pre-release. So here we are. And that's what you're hearing right now is the hum of that refrigerated trailer unit right there. Very nice. Even on the inside, you can actually still hear it. So it's constantly humming. It is a workaround though at the end of the day. Just to be perfectly clear, it's still a workaround. So it has some quirks. And I will share with you what those quirks are. So we are all aligned, what we can expect from it. Alright, so but let's hear that again from start to finish, the startup sound of the unit. What do you call it? What is a short name for it? Freezer unit? You guys let me know in the comments, okay? As always, you are my content experts. Okay, so I'll attach the trailer, I'll couple to it, and then I'll uh, I'll uh, turn off the engine so we can hear it in its full glory, the startup and the looping sounds, right? So from this point, you don't hear anything yet, right? But when we couple to it, wait for it a bit, that's the one. And that stays with you. That humming, that constant humming sound stays with you. This is without the engine. And right? you hear that humming? It's a nice gentle humming. Very cool. Let's hear how that sounds while we're actually moving. Because it actually changes quite a bit. There are a few caveats, a few tricky things with it. I'm just letting you hear the sounds. Man, it is loud, huh? Is it really that loud in real life? It's unmistakable, my goodness. It kind of just emanates. It's almost the same, same level of sound as the engine itself. Constant humming. Let me know in the comments if that's how it should be or if it should be a bit weaker. Because I have, I do not know. I've not heard, I've not seen a video with that kind of humming in there. I did turn down the engine sounds a bit, just so we can focus on it a bit more. But yeah, I like that. There's actually something constantly humming at you. It's like that white noise that lets you sleep. Although in this case, I guess you don't want to sleep, right? <laughs> you don't really want to sleep while driving. But it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, we're hauling some yogurt in here. So we definitely need that refrigerated trailer. What I'm not sure though, and I, and I remember there was a fix for it before, but maybe I need the mod. Shouldn't that trailer be lighting up? That uh, light should be turned green, I think. I think so. So you guys let me know if there's a mod for it, or if maybe I have a mod conflict somewhere that's preventing that from lighting up. Here's one of the caveats, one of the quirks. If I stop, 
Give it a few seconds. There it is. It's actually dying out on you to the point that it's not there anymore. So that's one of the limitations because as I mentioned, it is a workaround at the end of the day. Drive safely found an ingenious way of uh, making this work because by default, the game does not support it yet. SCS, please listen, please add this by default so Drive safely doesn't have to go through all these workarounds. What's happening behind the scenes, guys, is Drive safely is actually that humming you hear from the unit it's actually technically a wind sound in the game. And so when you stop like this, when you're stopped, there's no wind sound, right? And that's why the trailer sound cuts off. And the workaround for that, to bring it back, if you want it on idle, if you want to, for example, go on a rest stop and just uh, keep it running in there, just hear that hum. Because you probably don't want to turn it off, right? You want it to keep on just uh, chilling the cargo even if you're resting what you can do is detach and reattach the trailer like so and once you couple to it even if you're stopped like this you should hear that startup sound again there you go and then you should start to hear it humming and now it shouldn't go away until you move so I think what's happening here is there's like a stationary trailer sound. So when you attach to the trailer, there's that fixed sound in this spot that triggers and loops. That's what we're hearing. But once we move, that's technically a different sound. That's a wind sound. So once we start moving like this, you'll hear it getting a bit louder. That is now the wind sound technically. And that's why when at this point, if we stop again, it will disappear again because it's now transformed from a stationary sound to a wind sound. <laughs> it's quite genius. It's a genius workaround. And yes, you don't really stop that long. Like for example, here, you stop for a second. Not enough. You still you, you still have the sound in there, right? It doesn't cut off until. Oh, it kind of does. Okay, so it kind of does cut off if you stop for a while but it does resume again because it's a wind sound technically it does resume again oh my goodness I'm on a blind spot it does resume again once you start moving but I like that I think I'll uh, sorry sign okay we missed it I think I'll be keeping this. I'll be looking forward to the official update so you guys can check it out as well. And then let me know about the volume. Let me know how much you like it because this is a this is a one of those little details that add so much to the game. Right? That it's a, it makes a huge difference when you're hauling an insulated trailer, uh, curtain cider, or a refrigerated trailer. If you're hauling a refrigerated trailer with a huge refrigeration unit, you're back. Then you should be hearing it. And it's great that we're actually hearing it. Are we? Or has it disappeared for some reason? No, it's there. I hear the humming. The humming kind of gets familiar at some point. So much so that you don't recognize it so much anymore. But I'm liking it. I am liking it. Now, a few more watch out. So I mentioned that limitation to you guys. When you stop, it uh, disappears. But when you resume, when you start moving again, then it uh, goes back. But as well, I think it's the truck and trailer noise that you have to uh, take care of because the trailer noise will be the the trailer noise is the startup sound of that uh, refrigeration unit. The truck noise is, I think, the wind sound while you're moving, and the recommendation is to keep that at fifty percent. So that's what I'm doing. And then I tone down the engine sounds because by default Z mods sounds will be like this, right? Just, just, just moved it to 50% for all just so we can have that even uh, levels. Nothing is overpowering the other so we can hear that humming perfectly. But as always, you can tune that to your liking. Ah, there it is. You hear it. It's a very small thing and I'm sure for, to some people it's not a big deal. When I first heard about it, I was like, okay, that's good. Um, good to have. 
but now as I start hearing it, you tend to appreciate it more, right? It's, it really adds to the whole immersive experience that you're hauling something that's uh, fragile in a way, fragile in terms of temperature. And you have to make sure that that unit never stops running, otherwise your uh, goods will get spoiled. So the moment you hear that hum stopping like so, you start getting nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, the, the missing piece on my end is that green light. The green light should be lit up when the unit is turned on, right? So, uh, looking forward to your tips on how I can make that happen, guys. By the way, a bit of a side note here, because I am driving the 362 from John Ruda. And if you guys watch the previous stream, the footage from the other day, where we hauled with this and checked out the interior sounds, the 3xx interior sounds I had an issue where I didn't have gear shifting sounds but now I do now I do and it was because of a a fix on the 362 side John Ruder apparently released a secret a silent update for the truck and for those with the older version of the truck you won't have the gear shifting sounds but now I do. So thanks a lot to Hasip for uh, helping out with that. He contacted Zmod and uh, Zmod told him what it could be. So apparently it's not an issue with this, with Zmod's interior sounds. It's a, an issue with the truck itself. Probably a different reference in the definition files causing the shifting sounds to disappear. But now it's good. We're still hearing the humming. Yes, we are. At some point, it blends. The only disadvantage as well, or another disadvantage, is because I mentioned, right? I mentioned that it's an in, it's a wind sound. That means you won't have the wind sounds from Zmod anymore. You know that thing when you have the windows open? And when you have that wind kind of squeezing itself into that small hole in, the, in that gap in the window? Like, shh, blowing thing? You won't have that anymore. Because drive safe these... Uh, refrigerated trailer sounds aka wind sounds are overwriting that so you don't have wind sounds anymore you only have a refrigerated trailer unit sound which is okay I mean yeah it's it's there it's there to stay guys un until you stop at some point it gets so familiar but when we stop like this and it disappears it feels like something is missing let you hear it Oh, sometimes it takes a while. There. Like, oh, what happened? It sounds so quiet. Yeah, you, you kind of get used to the white noise. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Thank you, Drive Safely. Looking forward to the official public update from you. Um, and yes, there are other caveats. There are other limitations. One second, I'll just read through his notes. There's the unit starting up again. That's good. Oh yes. One more big thing, guys. It is not compatible with owned trailers. Unfortunately, not yet at least. So this one I'm hauling is actually a freight market trailer. No, it's not my own trailer. With your own trailer, I don't think it works. At least based on what Drive Safely is saying. It's probably a different mechanism. So as much as I would love to haul my own trailers, I don't think it is working yet. So you have to use either a freight market job, an external contract. For quick jobs, it can also work. But I think for quick jobs, you have to like detach and attach from the trailer to trigger the sounds. Otherwise, it doesn't uh, recognize and it wouldn't start. So it's still a workaround at the end of the day, as I keep mentioning. So it's not perfect. But we have it now, thanks to Drive Safely. So a huge thanks, Drive Safely. Amazing addition to the entire uh, immersive vibe of actually driving a truck and hauling a refrigerated unit. I'm sure all the yogurt is also pleased. Anyway, this is just a short video, guys. I won't be finishing the trip. So I really want to bring this message out there, bring out the awareness and... Uh, check this out for myself so I'll be stopping here 
and I'll be looking forward to your comments guys if this is something you like if this is meh if this is something that is not on your radar before or if you're really waiting for this to happen I'd be happy to hear about the different perspectives because I'm sure there are plenty and the sounds are gone but if you want it to go back while idling you just have to detach reattach couple with a trailer wait for the startup there it is the, the beeping the horn and there's the unit starting up and now you have it to stay as long as you're stationary cool all right so yes looking forward to your comments guys have a nice day clumsy trucking and uh yes i'm sure drive safety will comment here with more details if i missed anything including the release date if he has something set already okay anyway thank you for watching have a nice day and clumsy trucking catch you in the next one Bye bye